Sneak and back tonight. Yeah, tonight. We're not doing a distro tonight. No, we're doing a program. And you're saying, what sort of program? Well, I will tell you. The other day I was going through my Twitter feed, blah, 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 and somebody sent me a little tweet and said, have you heard of this program? I bet you haven't. I went, you're bloody right. I haven't heard of it. I'm going to go and have a look. And I did. It's a new video editing program for Linux. Non-linear, by the way. It's a bit of a mix of all of them put together, to be honest with you. So anyway, we're in Zubuntu 12.04 at the moment. I'm not using it full time at the moment. I'm just playing around with it, and making sure it's going to do what I want to do when I want it to do it. Okay, I'm still not a call machine, by the way. So anyway, I'll go up to my programs. And we go to multimedia, and there we have Flowbleed Movie Editor. So I'll open it up, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a quick look. When it decides to open up, that is okay. There we go. You can download it from their site. <clears throat> it's really easy. I'll show you how to do that a bit later. We're going to make it full screen. Now, as you can see, first impressions remind me of... Okay, this is not a derogatory statement, by the way. This is how I feel, and it's, I think it's a good statement. It's a mix of Caden Live, OpenShot, Pit TV, and most of all, a Cinderella. It's not a get fella, but a girl DJ. Yeah, a bit of a mix of more. But being as it looks like quite a lot like Cinderella, personally. All right, the GUI is a lot better, by the way. I thought, well, this should be pretty good, and it is. So anyway, I'm going to add a file just to show you. I made a quick one earlier. It's just for demonstration purposes only, by the way. So I'll just bring it into a timeline. You do it like any other video editing program. I'm just going to chuck it there for the moment, okay? For the moment. Oh, yeah. So anyway, what am I going to show you? Right, so you get a file. You get the usual there. And edit, you can do the usual, what you would normally do from a video editor. You've also got to create colour clips, consolidate all banks, consolidate selected banks, recreate media icons, profile manager and preferences. I've not actually set my preferences on here at the moment, but I will be doing using this next week and see how we get along. So it looks pretty super duper duper, okay? So I could just go to preferences. As you can see, you can set your default profile. I'm going to change that to that one there. That's good for me, click OK. Yes, I know I've got to restart to make the change, but I'm not too worried because I'm just showing you it to you basically of what you can do. So I've done that bit away, and you get help as well. So if I go to about Flowblade Movie Editor 060 Copyright Jean Little Blah Little Whatever his name is, whatever your name is, mate. Yes, thanks. And as you can see, it uses a lot of Genie, Inkscape, GIMP, and Grab, including WFMPEG, MLTs, Cairo, and blah, 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 blah. And it's under the GNU General Public License version 3. Okay. Right, so anyway, what can you do? I hear you say. Or you cry even. So you get media, filters, compositors, project. As you can see, it's all there. Just tells you bits and bobs at the moment. And render. I'm going to come back to that in a bit. Okay, so we're going to go back to media. I'm going to right click my file and as you can see you can add filters artistic, make a cartoon, charcoal so if you do old film which is just to show you what I mean look. so I'm going to click on play and if you can see it's giving it an old film worldly way nice, Will Gimpage, do you know what I'm saying? yeah you know what I'm saying ok, I'm going to go back there go back and back again and what I'm going to do is go to edit and undo that's good for me. So, back again. Filters again. What else can we do? Okay, old films, scan lines, audio you can change, audio filter. You can do some blurring, okay, and change the colour, brightness, contrast, grayscale. As you can see, lots of options, it seems, from Gimpage. There's your colour effects is there, distorts, so you can flip, lens correction, etc. The edges, fixing there, movement, very nice, and transform, okay. You can add a compositor or compositor, whatever you do, so you can dissolve, etc., etc., picture in picture. It's all there. So it's a bit more than Pit TV and Open Shot, but not so much as Caden Line. So this is why I said to you, it's more like Cinderella. Yes. You can add a blend, etc., etc., etc. Clone your filters. You can split your audio. So I'll split the audio. Look, that's super duper. Isn't it? Nice. So you can do some bits and bobs there. Nice. Also, we'll go back to add a filter again. I'm going to go back to artistic. Should we do cartoon? Or scan, we'll do scan line. Let's have a go. It's just to show you what it looks like. Look, a bit weird, and you can do lots of stuff. 
Yeah, but it's alright though. Okay, we're going to undo that. That's super duper. So, we else got? Well, the other tools you've got here is if I go from here, append your monitor clip range, more monitor stuff down there. Here, here, and here, you can resync your selected clips. Mm, that'd be nice to use, wouldn't it? Cut, splice out clip, lift your clip. You can zoom in, zoom out, and zoom in select a sequence by undo and redo. Lots and lots of options. There will be keyboard commands, but I've not had enough time to use it really to see what it's really like, to be honest with you. But yeah, it looks really, really, really good. So I'm going to come out of there. Okay, so we're going to go, don't save. It's okay. We're going to go to our browser. Open them up. And I'm going to type in Flowblade in a second. Let's have some drinkage. Oh, no, one. Type in flow blade, and you see I've been there before. We'll go here and show you all about it. So this is where you can download it from. It comes in a dev package, by the way. It should be all right on Ubuntu 1204 and 11.10, not for anything before that. So if you're using Debian, you can have to do a bit of play and a bit of extra installing. You can also get the tar file if you want to get the source. So to build it yourself for say art or whatever. So that's super of the duper. Lovely. Oh, you like it. That's nice. So anyway, it tells you all about it here. You can read it yourself. I'm not going to do it for you. So you have plenty of things to do over the weekend. Okay. So yeah, that's what I want to show you. Flowblade, a new movie editor. Mmm, nicey, nicey, hunky dory. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Thank you.